Hi all, welcome to the A-Level Law Essay channel. Okay, we all know that your ASA2 examinations will begin very soon. So, before you all go for exams, I would like to share a few important tips with you. This episode is going to be a quick one, I hope. Before we begin, please subscribe to my channel for more video guides on essay writing and many other interesting topics. Alright, tip 1. Be prepared academically. Make sure that you have done all your notes and all your essay samples. This is important because, right, if you are not fully prepared for your exams academically, then you might not be able to perform well. So just make sure that everything is done properly before you go. Okay? And make sure that everything is in a compact state so that you can actually just bring it to the exam center and do a bit of light reading before you actually go for your exams. Alright, tip 2, be prepared physically and mentally. So this is very important because if you are not physically or mentally prepared, you might get too stressed up that when you go for your exams, you might go blank. You might be prepared academically, but if you are too worried about your exam results or too worried about how you perform and everything like that, then you might eventually go blank or you may not be able to perform as well as you would usually do. So try to chill and don't get stressed up. Um, get enough sleep and make sure that the day before your exams, you do not study throughout the night because it's not very helpful if you do not have a full night's sleep, right? And uh, it'll be good for you to actually chill a bit, okay, the day before, like for example, put away all your notes, all your essays and all your textbooks and everything like that and just chill. Either you sleep or you go and play or read something else or watch a movie or whatever it is, you know, just try to get yourself physically and mentally relaxed before your exam, right? Because during the exam is the time where you actually need to push yourself already, okay? All right, next tip three, make sure you read and understand the question before answering. So this is the part where you are actually in the examination itself already. When you actually look at your paper, don't get overexcited, read carefully. I'm sure that the invigilators, right, the people who are running the examination, will give you some time to read before you actually start to uh, answer the question. Right? Even if they straight start with the exams, you should also take some time okay, to read the question before you start writing. Okay? Because there are a lot of situations where students might actually um, misunderstand the question and then thinking that this question covers a particular chapter but it actually covers another chapter or that they might misunderstand the focus of the question like for example if it is about a particular topic in a particular chapter for example they might just write the whole chapter itself without even covering or emphasizing on that particular topic in that chapter so it is very important for you to take some time to read and understand the question before you read so don't get overexcited Tip 4. Make sure you label and arrange your answer properly and accordingly. Right, this is very important because some people, you know, when they get overexcited, they might forget to write the number, the question number at all, and might just leave it blank. And if you were to do that, then um, the examiner won't know which question that you're actually doing. Or worse still, they might I mean, students might actually label the answer wrongly. And there are some situations, this is for your paper 2, where your data respond question. Some students might answer sub-questions A, B, C all together. They will label it as A only, and then they'll answer all three sub-questions together. If you were to do this, okay, then it is, it is definitely not good, because the examiner will consider it as only one answer. And if one answer is 10 marks, even if you wrote three answers and they are all very good, it will be considered as one answer only, and the examiner will only give you the maximum of 10 marks, which is you know a waste of time for you. So therefore, be careful and make sure that you label your answer properly. And yeah, another thing regarding this is that you should start your new answer in a new page. This is even for your paper 2 data response where you know some people's answer for sub question A might be about half page half a page only or a little bit more than half a page. Please do not start the next answer in the same page itself. Start in a new one. Or even some situations where you might actually um, overwrite one of the sub questions A for example to the next page. You know, I say for example that you only use the 
first line of the next page and so therefore the rest of the page seems to be wasted but please 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 try not to continue with the next sub answer in the page itself this one is very important because why saving your exam is more important than saving the trees now only now i'm not saying that the trees are expandable okay but then for your exam purposes okay please 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 make sure that everything is done properly because why okay this is part of uh, impression point if for example that your words are too mashed up together for example some people might not even leave a line in between paragraphs or they might not even leave a line in between answers you know it's like question one and question two they might label it answer number two but they did not even leave a space in between the end of uh, the answer for question one and the beginning of the answer for question two so that's why it's very important for you to make sure that your answers okay are arranged properly and accordingly okay tip five tip five okay is something which is very important as well well we should help each other and wish each other the best in our exams especially those people whom you know you've been studying with together um remember them and um you know um as much as this exam is like a, you know everybody is sitting uh, for the exam uh, for themselves only but i'm sure a lot of you have been studying together so it will be good for you and for everyone else okay if everybody were to you know help each other out like for example um before the exam okay while well, waiting for the for for you all to be called into the exam hall you should you know just try to discuss some of the notes together and then also if you can you should actually you know, wish each other as well all right after all we are all sitting for the exams together okay so i guess that's all for today i wish you all the best if uh, you find my videos been helping you very much i hope that you would like share and subscribe to my channel as this will not just help me in my work but it will also help those who are actually in need of some guidance right so after this okay um i'll probably go into some other topics okay not necessarily academic already but may actually go into something else but um yeah eventually i will actually go into a2 topics as well all right um so all the best to you and i'll see you next time bye